Hey, thank you for coming <clears throat> back. I am here with Doris Collier, and if you saw the first segment, we were talking about um, her um, uh, movies and as an actress, as a producer of Christian movies, and we also got a great taste of who she is in God, and um, I don't know about you, in that other segment, it was uh, powerful, the story she told. And, uh, and I just want to pick back up on a little bit of that be before we go into talking about Doris Kaya, the CEO, okay? But I just got to come back to that mosaic story of, you know, we are all made up of broken pieces. That's right. We are. And, and, and God, but God loves all of the pieces. That's right. And it all started in the Garden of Eden to the last chapter of the Bible. They're all dysfunctional people. Yes. It was never a perfect family in the Bible no. because God wants to show us that this it won't be perfect till we get on the other side. Yes. But he's a God of forgiveness and grace. Yes. Yes, he is. And I just wanted to... Um, before we go into talking about, um, because I want people to get this. I want them to get a full picture of here you are walking in the kingdom. God has blessed you to do um, your heart's desire and actress, uh, playing in movies, co-writing movies and all of that. At the same time, uh, he, you are an entrepreneur, you're running a, a company, you are a female, you are a female who is feminine, let me say that. Thank you. Okay, beautiful, uh, strong, uh, and this is what women should look like. And I just want the people to see this. This is a perfect example of how God created us. You have a husband uh, who's a uh, professional in his own right, a doctor, and y'all walk beside one another. I'm just, I'm just putting it all out here. That's it. The Holy Spirit's just rolling through me. And this is, we, we don't have to, I want to say this, we don't have to demand uh, independence. We don't have to sing the song, I am woman. Right. You, uh, okay, That's hear me right. more. That's God, it. I, because God created this to be interdependent. We are to be together. We are to be dependent on one another. That's right. I, you know, and we just got to get this in this world. We've got to come together under the power of unity. That's right. Okay, that's and that's in all areas, families, that's marriages, uh, uh, you know, um, cultures. There's only one culture. There's only one race. That's it's right. It's God's race. That's right. You know, right. and I don't know why I done got off on this tangent, but based on that that story, I just wanted people to just take away also from this that uh, you can be who he created you to be. That's right. And so many women, I think, try to compete with other women or compete with men, and that's so, oh, it just takes so much energy to do yes. that. It takes the joy out of your life. And, you know, I tell people, look at the God created, let's just go through the beginning. He created the, the dirt and then he created the, the flowers. And I, I watched the progression. Then he, then he created the animals and Come then on. he created the, not, the sun and the moon. Then he created man. But what did he say for last? Come on. Woman. She is the crown of creation. It's not that she's the best, but he started from the dirt and went all the way up, but he saved her for last yes. because we are the crown of God's creation. Yes. So I, I actually enjoy being a woman. I, I wouldn't want to be a man. I like it that God made me who I am. <laughs> I'm a daughter of the king. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And that is my, that yeah. is, I love that, daughter of the king, I yes. tell you. Um, and I, another thing that I just really want, I just want us to, as women, come together and get that. And you were right. You said something very important. He didn't create us to wear the pants. No. He created man to be the king, prophet, and priest. That's right. And we have to honor that. If we want to be who we are, the crown of creation, yes. we have to honor 
all of creation. That's right. That's you know? exactly right. And so I'm going to get off that, and I'm going to segue here. Because that you are wearing your crown so well that what is known as a man's world, you are now leading a company. Yep. Okay? And see, and that's what God does. Mm -hmm. When you follow his pattern, his order, he'll sit you down. That's right. Okay? That's right. And so we want to talk about magic feet insoles. Okay. Because I've been hearing, I've been doing a lot of research, and yes. I've been hearing so much about this. And businesses here in the Koei region, pay attention because you need these, especially if you're running a manufacturing company, you need these insoles for your employees. But let's talk about, how did you get into this? <laughs> uh, that's what everyone asks me. Okay, I, as I mentioned, my husband's an ER physician, mm -hmm. and he would come home from work and say, oh, I just feel so sorry for my patients. It's either their lower back or their knees or their feet just constantly hurting. I said, well, it's because they stand on concrete. So I set out to find the very, very best product that could help them. So this is an ergonomic insole mm -hmm. that's made in the USA. Yeah! So I know. I'm so happy that that's made here. I'm tired of China. So the, fa the fabric on the top of it is breathable so the team members' feet don't sweat. Okay. So it's a big cost savers for companies to buy these instead of those ergo mats because mm -hmm. the mats are trip, slips, and fall hazards. You're right. Yes. And then you have to spend money to clean them. This way you have an ergonomic mat no matter where you walk. Yes. So we go into companies and they buy them by the thousands for their team members and we have a Magic Feet team that goes in and we actually distribute them for them. Okay. So they'll give us a call and say, uh, can you bring say a thousand pairs in and we, the team, they give us a list of everyone's name in alphabetical order and one of my team members checks their name off, the other one puts them, uh, gets their shoe size and gives them the pair that will correspond with their shoe size. Okay. And they absolutely love it. You hear them say, oh my goodness, I feel like I'm walking on a cloud. Because when your feet hurt, think about it, you mm. hurt all over. Yes, you do. So, because, and I tell people, be good to your feet because that's your foundation. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So it's Magic Feet um, is the name of the company. And we we have a website, magicfeetinsoles.com. Yes. So we sell to individuals, but we sell a large portion to major men. We sell to Toyota, uh, Ford Motor. I was going to say, name some of the companies so they yeah. know. Yeah, Toyota, Ford Motor, Pilgrim's Pride, mm -hmm. Tyson Foods, okay. GE. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the list you goes some on. of the big yeah, companies. Some yeah. of the Fortune 500 companies. Yes. And again, they all have concrete yes. floors, so there's a need. And it's just, um, not only are they the very best thing for the, for the employees to wear, but it prevents things like hill spurs. It prevents things like plantar fasciitis. Uh, See, if you've ever had that, Pete, you I have. Yes. <laughs> so it's a big preventative thing, but not only that, it actually, what it does for the plant morale is amazing. They'll go up to, I remember one plant um, manager said, let me show you something. He said, I lock my door every day when I go to lunch. And when I came back, this is what I found. And he opened his door, and all on the floor were these little pieces of paper. I said, what is that? He said, well, pick up one. And it was the sweetest little notes that they had slid under his door while he was at lunch thanking him for buying them their insults. And he said, you know, Doris, if it didn't do anything else, look what it's done for our plant morale. Wow. So. Wow. So just so that people really understand, so what I'm hearing you, you can make it very easy yes. for people or for a company if they really want to uh, say to their employees uh, are, you know, I love these uh, perks that you can get for companies that's not the standard stuff, yeah. you know. We get two weeks of vacation, boom, boom, boom. But when they can do something like we can give you these insoles because we understand um, uh, what it means to stand here on this factory floor, that's a plus. But if you can't do that, that you set it up very easy that you can come in and work with a corporation and they can payroll deduct these. Yeah, that's another way. Yes. Um, a lot of times companies will buy them. If they choose not to, 
they'll say, you can still come in and let the team members buy them. Right. And so they will sign the, their name and their, on their badge, there's their um, ID number, uh -huh. and then uh, accounts payable at their plant will take that $21 out of their check. Wow. But they get their product right then. Yes. So, so it's, it's either the company buys it or the team members buy it, but either way, it's a win-win yes, it for them. Because, you know, the companies will buy them T-shirts and baseball caps, <laughs> and you can't wear the same T-shirt every day. No, you can't. So you can wear these every day, yes. and you can move them from shoe to shoe. Yes. So it helps with the lower back a lot and the knees and the feet. Well, and I can tell you, because I know... At my age, I'm just going to say that, and y'all know I don't mind telling my age, I'm 65. And so, and you know, I wear those, I wear heels, I'm still in my stilettos and all that good stuff. But from time to time, my little knees tell me, oh, you're just putting so much weight, yeah. you know? And you know that, especially when you're going up and down stairs yeah. and things like that. So um, these insoles would uh, help out a whole lot if you like I am. <laughs> yeah, they're just, just um, specifically designed for working on, for long periods of time, time. on concrete. Um, people wear them in tennis shoes, steel-toed shoes, or work wow. boots. Or work boots. Okay. They just don't go very well in a, um, a dress. Heel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just no. So you don't have to work on that. I do. I do have one for heels. Okay, do. you do yeah. have one for yes, heels? I, do. I was getting ready to say, because I saw you yes. when you walked in, I was yes. going to say, so there's got to be one for heels. That's but right. But this is the work boot, That's or right. the work shoe uh, insoles That's that right. we're talking about today. Yes, um, safe, and they really save companies money a lot, because yes. again, those mats are so expensive. They are. Those ergo mats, and they're trips, slips, and falls, and you know, one injury, tripping, and you you break Work the arm. Calm. Yeah, and they're out for <laughs> they're out for weeks. Yes. And this way, you have an ergonomic mat, and when a company buys them, then of course, as owner of Magic Feet, mm -hmm. I give them a, a corporate discount. They're, okay. they're no longer twenty one; they're less. Okay. Because then it's a volume sale. Okay, but twenty one dollars. That's right. I mean, come on. That's right, and they're guaranteed for a year. Okay. Out of all the thousands and thousands and thousands that we sold last year, we had four returns. Only wow. four. So that's, it speaks, that speaks a lot. Plus, the kind you get at Walmart or different stores, they last about two to three months. That's about it. Mm -hmm. And these last a year. Okay. All but right. But it's just the fabric is breathable so your feet don't, it just doesn't sweat. Okay. So, now, if I'm an individual, I can go to your website? Sure. And I can order from there, right? That's right. Okay, that's so right. that's www.magicfeetinsoles.com. And if I'm a corporation and I want to uh, get in touch with you. Yeah, my email is doriscollier at comcast.net. Or they can certainly call, call my direct line. Okay, and it's her direct line, 256-490-4333. Yes. Yes. Well, Doris, I just want to say I have had a blessed, blessed uh, afternoon with you. Thank you for coming. Thank wow. you for sharing not only uh, about your company and the insoles, but thank you for coming and blessing us with such a powerful word. Oh, thank you. Okay? You're, uh, when I'm standing here looking at, you are a glory carrier. And thank you for bringing in the glory today. Thank you. As I tell people, it's not about the soul. Yes. S-O-L-E. It's about the soul. S-O-U-L. Amen. And you know what? On that note, we are going to close out another segment of Hidden Gems of the Ocoee Region. Thank you for joining us, and God bless. <laughs>